Back to my editorial, top of the hour. President Trump held a post-election press conference, and he got into it with CNN's Jim Acosta. Roll tape. Honestly, I think you should let me run the country. You run CNN. All right. And if you did it well, your ratings well, let would me be ask, much better. If I, if I may okay, ask one enough. other question, Mr. President, if I may, President, I, well, that's I was enough. going to ask one of the, the other folks. That's had, enough. Pardon me, ma'am. I'm, I'm, Mr. Excuse President, me. That's enough. Mr. President, I had one other Peter, question, if I may ask, on, on the Russia investigation. Are you concerned that... That you may have I'm not concerned about anything with you the may Russian investigation because it's a hoax. Are you, That's enough. Put down the mic. Mr. President, are you worried about indictments coming down in this investigation? Mr. President. I'll tell you what, CNN should be ashamed of itself having you working for them. You are a rude, terrible person. You shouldn't be working for CNN. Go ahead. I, I think that's unfair. You're a very rude person. The way you treat Sarah Huckabee is horrible. And the way you treat other people are horrible. You shouldn't treat people that way. Just sit down, please. Well, when you, when you report fake news, no. When you report fake news, which CNN does a lot, you are the enemy of the people. Go ahead. The president is right, and Acosta is 100% wrong and a disgrace. And by the way, his press credentials have been taken away from him. CNN released this statement. Oh, this unprecedented decision is a threat to our democracy, and the country deserves better. Jim Acosta has our full support. Oh, dear. Joining us now, former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee. Uh, you're smiling, Governor, but I'm... You know, I'm, I'm fit to be tired. I'm a founder of CNN. I was the first person to broadcast for CNN from New York in 1980. And to see him descend to this kind of nonsense really offends me. But I'm saying everything in your place. You go right ahead, sir. Couldn't agree more, Stu. I think the sad thing is CNN and the White House Correspondents Association acts like that this is a threat to the First Amendment. The threat to the First Amendment and to a free press is when the press acts irresponsibly and they act like bullies. And that's what Jim Acosta did yesterday. There is a certain level of decorum and respect that should come with being a White House reporter. And these guys at the White House, the reporters, shouldn't be circling the wagons around uh, Jim Acosta. They ought to be forming a firing squad and telling him, you are shaming us as a profession. You're making us all look bad, because he is. He's a selfish, childish, petulant bore. And what he did to that young lady yesterday was inexcusable. He owes the president and that young lady an apology. Uh, I think the president was exactly in his place. And I want to remind you, the tape didn't go all the way back. But when he started, he didn't ask a question. He made an assertion. Yes. He challenged the president. If he wants to debate the president, he can get his butt on the ballot in 2020 and run against Donald Trump. Then he can debate him all day and he can make assertions. He's got to decide. Do you want to be a journalist or do you want to be a politician? Make your choice. Pick your poison and get after it. He didn't, he didn't do that. I think the White House press people should lay down the law. One question at a time, none of these long-winded yep. follow-ups, no statements, questions only, and don't interrupt the President of the United States. I think that's what they should, lay the law down. Why not? Well, they should do that, and it, it ought to be very clear that there is a certain protocol. Uh, you can ask anything you want, but here's the problem that some of these press guys don't get. They're so arrogant. They're free to ask their question. But they are not free to determine what the answer is going to be. Right. The president of the United States, like anyone, has a right to give an answer whether they like it or not. That's the answer that they get. Uh, this isn't uh, you know, going to Golden Corral at the buffet and picking out what you like. You get to ask your question. That's a free press. But the president is free to say either no comment. This is not a president who ever says that. But he can give the answer he wants, and that's the end of it. And when he says, thank you, I'm done with you, then respect that he has now finished his answer, and he's going to move on to someone else and let one of your colleagues have a chance. Jim Acosta would hog the entire news conference if the president, or in some cases my daughter, would allow him to do so, and they won't. Yeah. Our best respects to your daughter, whom we do indeed respect, Governor. And thank you very much for coming on the thank show you. today. We are in 100% agreement. You, thank you, sir. All right.